Okay, I'm back. So, yes, we did read this. We did read this. Uh, I don't want to read anything else until I've unlocked everything. Did, were we in block 9? I think we were. I kind of want to use Mute's questions. No, I want to read everything first. Unsent letter, okay. When I first saw you bringing my husband home in the late hours of the night, I was jealous. All I could think of was my daughter and the first courtesan. He'd had an affair with nine years ago. With every brief glimpse of you that I saw as you passed through our home, my heart burned a little, as if you embodied every single fault of my farce of marriage. I will never send this letter, because I know how ridiculous it sounds. For weeks, I, a noble wife, could be jealous of a poor courtesan. But you are a young and beautiful, full of energy and grace. I am none of these things. Only after you had been entertaining him for a month did I start to realize what I was truly feeling. True, I was jealous, but not of you, for having my husband. I was jealous of my husband for having the affections of a girl so pretty as you. These were such ridiculous thoughts for a woman to have, I know, and even more ridiculous still is the way they have overwhelmed me. I used to dread my husband bringing his courses on time. Now I look forward to your nights together. How could I not? But it means that I am treated to the sight of your beautiful face. When we exchange glances, you hide behind your long hair. With so much cuteness and grace, my eyes can't help but wander. To admire the way it rests on your breast, to see your clothes drape loosely around over your hips, I cannot help myself from admiring your body as you try to hide from me. It is ridiculous to be so preoccupied with such thoughts, and perhaps I was better off not even. guarded. 
until you started talking. You know what it was that got me. Do tell me how hard it is studying to be a courtesan. I answered modestly. Oh, you know, there's nothing to learn. You just have to have it or you don't. The answer that any man would expect. But you? You wouldn't have any of that. You said, please don't lie. I actually want to know. It takes years, does it not? That must be intense for a girl your age. Then you leaned in. I started to blab about how it kind of is pretty intense, and I only realized an hour later that I was staring into your eyes telling you, proudly, no less, about my whole life story. Our faces were barely a foot apart by the time I noticed what you'd done. And that was how you caught me totally off guard. I had no idea what to do. Should I touch you? What's the right body language in that situ situation? Was I even interrupting me? interpreting you right or was it just all in my head not even the slightest clue you had me good and you played it so well you know just the right moment to pull back and tell me to go on my way but in a way that left me wondering Sojin you made it so easy returning home my heart was so fluttered my feelings so confused, and all I could think about was you. You, the bored old housewife of my patron, actually managed to seduce me just like that. I had always wanted to know that feeling, and you know, it was everything I dreamed it would be. And referring to your trade, said, I'd love to write you a poem 
section. In response, putting my hand up on your up your skirt. Your poetry is beautiful, but hardly what I meant. Then I clasp my hand with my spare hand, dealt deep with the other, and held you so very tight until I admired the loveliness of your voice. Yeah. That one is just wow. Anyway, I'll let you get back to reading. How much more of this is there? I think I'm gonna skip over the young sent letters for now. I'll go straight. Eh, there's only one left. Shall I? I might as well get it over with.
Yes, it's a little. Sure. I love seeing people cosplay. I'll go along with her for now. I promise.
Okay, what am I gonna do? Waste. 